Picture this, 250 million years ago, Earth was totally different, huge forests everywhere. Imagine walking through a dense lush forest where the trees tower above you, their canopies forming a thick green roof that blocks out much of the sunlight. The air is thick with humidity and the ground is covered in a rich carpet of ferns and mosses. This was a time when the planet was teeming with life and the forests were alive with the sounds of countless creatures. Weird and amazing creatures roamed around. Giant amphibians lurked in the swamps while strange reptiles scuttled through the underbrush. Some of these creatures were unlike anything we see today, with bizarre shapes and sizes that seem almost alien. They moved through the forest with a sense of purpose, each one playing a vital role in the ecosystem. The oceans were packed with life. Beneath the waves, the seas were just as vibrant and diverse as the land. Ancient fish with armoured bodies swam alongside massive sea scorpions while strange jellyfish-like creatures drifted through the water. The ocean floor was a bustling metropolis of activity with countless species competing for food and space. Coral reefs were everywhere in the warm, shallow water. These reefs were the rainforests of the sea, providing shelter and sustenance for a myriad of marine life. Brightly colored corals formed intricate structures that teemed with fish, crustaceans, and other sea creatures. The reefs were a hub of activity, a vibrant and dynamic ecosystem that supported an incredible diversity of life. This was the Permian period, a time when tons of different plants and animals lived. Insects buzzed all around, dragonflies with wingspans of over two feet darted through the air while giant millipedes crawled through the undergrowth. The skies and the ground were alive with the movement of countless insects, each one playing a crucial role in the ecosystem. Big and small reptiles hunted across the giant continent. From the massive lumbering pariasaurs to the swift and agile therapsids, these reptiles were the dominant predators of their time. They stalked their prey through the dense forests and open plains, their keen senses and powerful bodies making them formidable hunters. It was a balanced world a delicate web of life that had existed for millions of years. Every creature, from the smallest insect to the largest reptile, had its place in this intricate tapestry. The balance of nature was maintained through a complex network of relationships with each species depending on others for survival. But this perfect world was about to face a huge disaster. The forces of nature, which had nurtured and sustained life for so long, were about to unleash their destructive power. Earthquakes shook the ground and volcanic eruptions spewed ash and lava into the sky. The very foundations of the world were being torn apart. The same forces that had created life on Earth were about to turn against it. Massive volcanic eruptions released toxic gases into the atmosphere, causing temperatures to rise and the climate to change. The once thriving ecosystems began to collapse and the delicate balance of life was thrown into chaos. The Permian period was a time of big changes in how life developed. Evolution was in full swing, with new species emerging and old ones disappearing. The pressures of survival drove the development of new adaptations and strategies, leading to an ever-changing landscape of life. Life had changed into countless forms, each one fitting perfectly into its own little world. From the tiniest microorganisms to the largest predators, every species had carved out its own niche in the ecosystem. This incredible diversity was the result of millions of years of evolution, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. The planet was like a beautiful tapestry of life, woven together over a super long time. Each thread represented a different species and together they formed a complex and interconnected web. This tapestry was a living, breathing masterpiece, a testament to the power and beauty of nature. But this tapestry was about to be ripped apart. The forces of nature were about to unleash their fury and the world would never be the same again. The delicate balance of life was about to be shattered and the planet would be forever changed. All the continents were once stuck together in one giant landmass called Pangaea. This supercontinent existed during the late Paleozoic and early Mesozoic eras around 335 to 175 million years ago. Imagine a world where all the land you know today was part of one massive piece of Earth, surrounded by a vast ocean. Pangaea was surrounded by one huge ocean called Panthalassa. This immense body of water covered much of the Earth's surface, creating a unique marine environment that was vastly different from what we see today. 
The formation of Pangaea changed Earth's climate and ocean currents in significant ways. The merging of the continents altered wind patterns and ocean currents, leading to new weather systems and climate zones. These changes had profound effects on the environment and the life forms that inhabited the planet. Pangaea stretched from the North Pole to the South Pole, covering a vast area of the Earth's surface. This immense landmass influenced global climate patterns and created diverse habitats from icy polar regions to tropical equatorial zones. The middle of Pangaea was probably very dry, with huge deserts. These arid regions were likely inhospitable to many forms of life, but they played a crucial role in the planet's climate system by affecting wind patterns and precipitation. But the coasts of Pangaea were wetter and had thick forests. These lush coastal areas were teeming with life providing habitats for a wide variety of plants and animals. The contrast between the dry interior and the wet coasts created a diverse range of ecosystems. Pangaea played a big part in what was about to happen. The formation and eventual breakup of this supercontinent had lasting impacts on the Earth's geology, climate and biological evolution. It set the stage for the world as we know it today. The supercontinent was like a giant heater soaking up the sun's rays and changing the weather. The vast landmass absorbed and retained heat, influencing temperature and weather patterns across the globe. This heating effect contributed to the creation of different climate zones within Pangaea. The huge Pantalassa Ocean also changed ocean currents, creating a unique environment. The interaction between the supercontinent and the surrounding ocean led to the development of new marine ecosystems and influenced the distribution of marine life. This meant that changes in one part of the world could affect the whole planet. The interconnectedness of Pangaea and Panthalassa meant that environmental changes in one region could have far-reaching impacts, shaping the Earth's climate and ecosystems in ways that are still felt today. Wildside. Deep inside the Earth, something terrible was happening. The ground beneath our feet, usually so solid and dependable, was stirring with a force that had been dormant for millions of years. This was no ordinary geological activity. It was the awakening of a colossal force of nature. In what we now call Siberia, a giant group of volcanoes called the Siberian Traps started to erupt. These eruptions were not just a single event, but a series of volcanic activities that spanned an immense period of time. These weren't normal eruptions. They were some of the biggest ever. Imagine the sky darkening with ash, the ground trembling with each explosion, and the air filled with the roar of the earth itself. Melted rock or magma poured out of cracks in the earth, covering an area bigger than Europe. This wasn't just a small flow of lava, it was a relentless flood that reshaped the landscape entirely. The eruptions went on for hundreds of thousands of years, sending lava flows for thousands of miles. This continuous activity meant that the land was constantly being buried under new layers of molten rock. But the lava wasn't the only problem. The eruptions also released vast amounts of volcanic gases into the atmosphere. The Siberian traps released enormous amounts of gases into the air. These gases included not just steam and water vapor, but also more dangerous substances, carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, and methane, another potent greenhouse gas, and sulfur dioxide, which can cause acid rain, poured into the sky, messing up Earth's climate. These gases had a profound impact on the atmosphere, leading to dramatic changes in weather patterns and temperatures. The whole world would feel the effects of these eruptions. The climate was altered on a global scale, affecting ecosystems and life forms everywhere. This was a catastrophic event that reshaped the course of Earth's history. All those gases in the atmosphere were terrible for the planet. Temperatures went way up and the climate changed really fast. Earth's systems started to fall apart. The rising temperatures caused huge droughts across Pangaea. Forests dried up and died, turning into deserts. The once lush areas started to collapse. The oceans were in trouble too. As carbon dioxide mixed into the oceans, the water became more acidic. This was really bad for sea life. Coral reefs, once full of life, were destroyed. Many sea creatures couldn't handle the changes and died. Section 5, The Great Dying. The Permian extinction wasn't just one thing, but a long period of environmental disaster. Climate change, ocean acidification, and other problems caused the biggest mass extinction ever. About 96% of sea creatures and 70% of land animals died. 
the oceans became empty, filled with dead creatures. On land, the once thriving areas became barren wastelands. The Permian extinction showed us how fragile life is. It showed how Earth's systems are connected and how bad rapid environmental change can be. Life on Earth was almost completely wiped out. Section 6. A Changed World After the Permian extinction, the world was a sad sight. The once diverse areas were destroyed, leaving a planet struggling to recover. The time of trilobites and other Permian creatures was over. It took millions of years for life to become diverse again. The extinction gave new forms of life a chance to evolve. Pangaea started to break apart, creating new continents and oceans. This would greatly affect how life evolved in the future. Section 7. Dinosaurs Take Over after the Permian extinction, a new group of reptiles appeared, the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were good at living in the warmer, drier Triassic period, and they quickly spread out to fill the empty spaces. Dinosaurs ruled for over 180 million years, evolving into all sorts of forms, from the mighty T-Rex to gentle giants like Brachiosaurus. The Permian extinction made way for the age of dinosaurs. The rise of dinosaurs shows how tough life is. Even after the worst disasters, life finds a way to adapt and change, creating new and amazing forms. Section 8. Lessons from the past. The Permian extinction, though a long time ago, has important lessons for us today. It reminds us that Earth's systems are connected and shows what can happen with fast environmental change. Today we are experiencing rapid climate change because of things humans do, like burning fossil fuels. We're releasing carbon dioxide into the air faster than during the Permian extinction. The Permian extinction is a warning, but it also shows how resilient life is. Life survived and thrived after the Permian extinction. We can learn from the past and make a better future. Section 9, A Story of Survival the Permian extinction is a story of both destruction and rebirth. It shows how fragile life is, but also how incredibly tough it is. Life on Earth has survived many disasters and it will face new challenges in the future. By understanding the past, we can be better prepared for the future. The Permian extinction teaches us that even after huge catastrophes, life finds a way. We need to learn from the past and work towards a better future for all life on Earth.